And right. now uh, roses are red, violets are blue, and here's Chad Peters for you. Chad, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I had to copy that from your Twitter post, so uh, I, felt, I felt that was an appropriate introduction. Thanks for joining us here from, from Nevada. Uh, looking forward to your update on uh, what, what you guys been up to at Ridgeline. And uh, I've got a couple of questions for you later on as well. Let's see if we have time for it. Thanks so much. Let's dive right in. Wonderful. Okay, so I only have uh, 15 minutes here and five projects to uh, show you guys, so I'm going to keep it quick. I would encourage anyone that's interested in learning more about the company, please contact us. Happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Uh, you can also check all this out on our website. We have a Verify uh, model for all our projects. So let's get started. So a uh, quick disclaimer, I am a geo, so I'll probably be making some forward-looking statements, but I'll keep it to a minimum. So why invest in Ridgeline Minerals? We are a Western US-focused gold silver explorer highly focused on making discoveries, early stage projects. We have five projects in Nevada and Utah, as well as a partnership with Nevada Gold Mines. So for a 20 million market cap company, I think we have a lot to offer. Um, to one of the things that I think really sticks out with our company is our strategic drilling contract. So I actually co-founded the company with the owner of a drilling company. What this means is we got a 15,000 meter drilling contract at cost. We're only halfway through that drilling contract tra contract, and we've been using it very effectively to go out and make discoveries. And, and so that's evidenced by our Selena discovery, which is turning into a, a silver gold lead zinc CRD project, which we'll be drilling in the spring. That's been fully drilled by our, our project, and we've been able to drill at under $25 a foot all in cost across the last two years. So we also have a $20 million earn in with Nevada gold mines. That's our SWIFT project. It really highlights the discovery potential there and the shows that we can make some big deals in a very shareholder friendly structure with 15% of our shares owned by management. So our projects, we have five, as I mentioned, four of them, the core of our, our portfolio, as you could say, is 154 square kilometers on the Carlin and Battle Mountain Eureka trends across our four projects. We have um, our flagship project at Selena and our earn in at Swift, as you can see on the Battle Mountain trend, but we recently picked up the Robert Galtz project. This is a drill ready oxide gold discovery um, already has multiple drill intercepts that show the potential to grow this, this thing. And uh, it's in an emerging gold district in Idaho. It's very close to the, uh, the Black Pines Liberty Gold, or sorry, Liberty Gold's Black Pine deposit. And we think there's incredible growth potential there. So it's a nice complement to our existing portfolio. So what's our strategy? I mean, starting out, you know, we went public in 2020. And one of the things we really focused on is we had these core assets in Nevada and we needed to do systematic exploration on each to decide which is our flagship, what do we monetize? How do we move these projects forward? Obviously, a company of our size can't be continuously moving five projects forward um, indefinitely, right? So that's where 2022, I think the shoe started to drop. So that started with our deal with Nevada Gold Mines. This really shows it's a tier one asset. They only go for big deposits and they um, did a 20 million earn in for 60%. They have an option to get a fully carried 20 or uh, uh, up to 75% by spending an additional uh, $10 million US. So for a total of 30 plus they have to carry the project fully carried to production. So that would mean that at the end of the day, we get a 25% carried interest and they've already started drilling the project within the first six months of doing the deal. We're putting 1.4 million US in the ground our Selena project. This is our flagship. We're really excited about this project. We think it has great uh, discovery potential. We have strategic holdings at Bell Creek and Carlin East, as you can see right uh, at the bottom there. Um, Bell Creek, they just came out, uh, NGM came out with a 1.24 million ounce resource last week at 7.3 grams per ton. That project is located only 500 meters off the edge of our project boundary at Bell Creek. So very exciting strategic chunk of ground. And they also came out with a resource at North Leeville, which is our Carlin East, um, or, which is right adjacent to our Carlin East project. They came out with 700,000 ounces at 11 and a half grams per ton with the project wide open and uh, ready to grow it. So our team, we've really built a very discovery focused team. Um, my, my, myself and Mike Harp, we're both geologists, both have made significant discoveries in Nevada over the last, call it five to seven years. Told, collectively, our team has discovered over 50 million ounces predominantly in Nevada over the last 20 plus years between our board management team and advisors. And we've really tried hard to build out a team around that of folks like Peter Hardy, CFO of Equinox Gold. Dwayne Lowe, been a part of multiple exits, CFO of multiple uh, resource companies over the years. From a cap structure perspective, as I mentioned, we have 15% owned by management. Um, I myself own 6.8% of the company. I bootstrapped the company right out of my garage um, and then put 150 grand of my own capital into the company over the first four rounds in the, or three rounds in the IPO. So 
Um, we're all heavily aligned with our shareholders, 55 million shares um, non-diluted, 69 million shares fully diluted. And we have a really good cash position right now. We're sitting on 2.1 million US, uh, very low, or Canadian, sorry, very low cash burn. And we're gonna be focusing those dollars into the ground at uh, Selena to start um, this year. And we think we have good potential to make a big discovery. Uh, we have some really excellent shareholders, including EMX Royalty Corp, um, Vior Inc., uh, Paul Stevens and Evan Stevens Investment Management. These folks have been supporting us since day one and are continuing to do so in the market and, and in financing. So got a really great shareholder group. So I'm going to move on to the projects now, try to keep this moving. So I'm going to show you Selena first. Um, as I mentioned before, we had a new discovery in 2020 and then into 2021. We've continued to, we started out as a gold and silver project. In 2021, we started hitting significant silver lead and zinc grades. That's evidenced by hole 24 right here. We had 4.6 meters of 421 grams silver, 0.6 grams gold, sorry, 4.4% lead and 3.7% zinc. That is almost 10 grams per ton gold equivalent. If you looked at it from that perspective, just for folks who don't know how that would, how that might look in a gold equivalent perspective, just to show that this is significant grades. It is a high grade system with lots of potential to grow. So if you look at the bird's eye here, what's really important, important to point out, you look over, we're only just down about seven kilometers away from Nevgold Golden Butte project. They just announced 60 meters of uh, two grams per ton the other week. Butte Valley Porphyry right here is a copper gold porphyry currently being built, but drilled by Lion Copper and Gold. And then we have over 39 square kilometers of contiguous land with very little drilling outside of what we've done in the last couple of years. Here's what this, there's a, uh, uh, silver equivalent um, uh, shape right here, which shows the reason or the the current mineralized footprint of the of the discovery. And what I'm going to show you now is where we think the significant upside is of this project. So between every known you know porphyry copper gold system pushes fluids out and uh, and creates CRDs and silver and gold deposits outboard of the main porphyry system. So you have the copper gold porphyry here. You're going to end up with a little bit of scarring right here could be silver, lead, zinc, copper included. Then you get into a CRD type system, carbonate replacement. These are big deposits. Uh, the Taylor deposit, for example, is a big CRD. Discovery Silver is working in a big CRD in Mexico. These things have huge tons, big grade, and they're really, really exciting projects when you find one. We think we're on the edge of getting into one right now. We drilled the gold and silver part of the system, plus some silver, lead, and zinc right on the edge of the system just last year. And we believe that if we drill, I'm gonna show you a cross section right here. We believe we can hit what this is right here, which this is the conceptual CRD target in the bright green. Here's our known discovery from starting at surface, dipping gently, good continuity with some of the highest grades, as you can see, up to 44 meters of 123 grams silver, uh, lead, zinc with higher grade intervals in between that, showing that the system can really grow. Here's the porphyry over here. We're gonna be drilling 5,500 meters in 2022 in the spring. And we believe that we can make a big discovery here and really show that the system can grow. So we'll move on to SWIFT. This is under option with Nevada Gold Mines. A few things I really wanna point out here, just partnering with NGM in this project really eliminates some of the risk associated with, with the deep drilling in Nevada. We drilled a million dollar drill hole at Carlin East, for example, last year, really struggled with it, did not get the hole down to target as deep as we would have liked. We hit 1200 meters vertical depth. These things can be very expensive and time consuming. So bringing on a partner like Nevada Gold Mines really offsets our risk and allows us to still participate in the development of this project all the way to production with a fully carried interest, no dilution at the corporate level to our team. So here's why Nevada Gold Mines picked this project up in the first place. Whoops, that doesn't look good. There you go. Um, as you can see, we've got a district scale, 75 square kilometer land position on trend of some of the biggest mines in Nevada. What really brought in us in the first place was seeing this general trend of these cross-cutting fault zones along a major Northwest structure, the Cortez corridor. We have the same cross-cutting structure here. It's strongly mineralized at surface all the way over six plus kilometers on the project. Soils, geochemistry, really hot. We came in, proved that the wind band formation, which is the main host rock that hosts all of these deposits exists on our project and Bear NGM immediately came in option the property, they're now drilling it. So we'll see what comes out of uh, the first drill program, which is already complete. They completed that just about just last month. We have assays pending. So moving on to Bell Creek. What I really wanna point out at Bell Creek is just the strategic potential here at this project. So NGM just came out uh, last week, as I mentioned, 
with a 1.24 million ounce resource in this area at 7.3 grams per ton. We own 100% of the Bell Creek project. You can see the boundary right there. We own 100% of this project. We're only 500 meters away from the edge of this resource. The expiration upside is that all of the same structures that bound that resource here, here, they cut across our project. This guy right here as well. There's incredible expiration potential. There's already proven mineralization along these zones here, here, and here. And we believe that we could come in, do some drilling, make discoveries, and use this thing as as uh, as leverage in our in our negotiations with Nevada Gold Mines across a bigger uh, project portfolio that we have. So very strategic land. No drilling plan for this year, but we are watching very closely as they continue to advance this project. Carlin East is a very similar approach right now. Um, 35 square kilometers. You can see large land package, very close to Bell Creek, but on the other side of the valley. And you can see this is the North Leeville deposit right here. Big discovery that's been uh, being developed over the last year and a half by Nevada Gold Mines. They've been drilling incredible drill results up to 42 meters of 33 grams per ton all along this structural corridor right here. That structure continues all the way up across our project. We drilled a single hole up here in 2021. We didn't get it as deep as we would have liked. The target was somewhere between 1200 and uh, 1200 and 1500 meters. And we just, um, we ended up having to shut the hole down. You can see here's our general conceptual model here showing that the system is just gently dipping under surface all the way over to our project. Here's our single hole right here. Didn't quite get deep enough. We'd like to come in, drill right here next time around. We believe we can hit about 800 feet or uh, you know, 250 meters shallower than on that other side of that fault zone. So lots of upside potential for sure. So the last thing I wanna show you is our new acquisition in Idaho. And the Robert Gulch project, the big reason we picked this up is this is a drill ready project, proven gold discovery. It's shallow and it's oxide. So something you need to know about Nevada, you do not need one, two, three gram per ton material like in some areas of the world, very remote areas to make an economic gold mine. Average gold mines in Nevada are operating at about a half gram per ton average grade, and they're making money hand over fist. So that's what really got us excited about Robert Gulch. You look, there's historical drill results, 12 meters of 0.9 grams within six, almost 58 meters of 0.34 grams per ton gold. This is starting at surface. We were able to pick this project up incredibly cheap, $50,000 to execute the deal, no work commitments in the first two years, and the total expenditures over a five-year period turn 100% is only 1.4 million US. So very low cost, back end loaded deal, allows us to be flexible, but still be very aggressive if this project starts to pick up. So like we said, I said almost every hole drilled in this project historically has good drill intercepts, all starting from surface oxide. Some trenching includes 189 meters of 0.43 grams per ton gold, which was right here, which included 45 meters of 0.88 grams per ton gold at surface. Lots of rock chips show that you can grow the system in this direction, in this direction as well. And I just want to show you one last thing. Here's a schematic cross section of what that looks like. You can see the majority of drilling was focused in a very small window right here, actually right there. There's rock chips of up to six and a half grams per ton at surface on strike to the south. Under shallow cover, you have these mineral volcanics that have been obscuring the system. The system is wide open at depth multiple trenches and drill holes up in what would be considered a poor host rock in that light blue that show that there is a continuation of the gold system, but they weren't drilling deep enough to test this target. So this thing has potential to be three to four kilometers long based on soils and rock chips. Um, we already know that there's a proven center to mineralization, which can produce grades in excess of a gram per ton, and it's oxide and it's wide open. So this is a very exciting complement to our portfolio and uh, really excited to move this forward, hopefully later in the year and into 2023. So we have a lot going on, obviously, right? Five different projects. The key focus this year is Selena and Robert Gulch. Um, we're gonna have resort or holes coming out of, or results coming out of Swift in the probably early second quarter, I think. Um, in Q2, we're starting our drill program at Selena. We have field programs ongoing at, at uh, Robert Gulch, and we anticipate additional drill programs out of NGM at Swift. Um, so lots of catalysts moving into Q1, Q2. And Q3 is going to be more of a success-based program. So whichever program is providing the highest value to our shareholders and the company is where we're going to focus on. So we hope that that's going to be a major discovery at Selena. But if not, we still have Robert Gulch to move forward, as well as all of our other assets, which have their own upside and their own right. So um, 
I guess uh, we will call it right there. And uh, thank you all for your time. Oof. Wow, lots of information in one 15-minute presentation. Fantastic job there, chat, running us through that. And uh, allow me just one last question. Like, uh, Nevada Gold Mines has started drilling. Like, any indication on the first hole? I know Barrick put out their numbers this morning. Is there anything in it? Because I know their conference call starts in 13 minutes. So um, I think it's sure. the Barrick the call. So Excuse is there anything we need to know? No, there's gonna, there's not going to be anything coming out of Swift in that, other than just probably you know maybe some updates on their program. But um, those results are still at the lab. You know, turnaround times aren't great still, so I think it'll be a while before we get news. But uh, excited to get that to the market. Okay, gotcha, Chad. We gotta let you go. Unfortunately, out of time. But uh, I'll definitely listen to the bear call or at least the replay later. So um, fantastic. Thanks so much, Chad. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Sure.